Dear children, today we are going to learn about electronic appliances. What are these electronic appliances? We use so many types of electronic accessories in, in electric circuits. So, the accessories used in electronic circuits are known as electronic appliances. So, now the time you have learned some of the electronic accessories through WhatsApp and Zoom. Some of them are diodes. Uh, there are two types of diodes as light emitting diodes and rectifier diodes. Then you have learnt about some types of resistors. For example, uh, LDR, light depending resistors, permanent resistors and variable resistors. So, we are going to learn about these electronic accessories in detail. First of all, you are going to learn about diodes. What is the unique feature of diode? The very special feature of the diode is, diode allows current flow only along one direction through it. Okay, so when we are connecting a diode to a circuit, always we have to connect the positive terminal of the diode to the positive terminal of the electric cell then only current flows through the diode so now you are going to see an experiment to see the action of the diode rectifier diode allows current flow only along one direction current flows from the positive terminal to the negative terminal along a rectifier diode. This experiment shows us the way that current flows through a rectifier diode only along one direction. A dry cell, a bulb and a diode are connected to this circuit. When the diode is fixed to the circuit, the bulb lights. Here the positive terminal of the diode is connected to the positive terminal of the dry cell. Now we are going to interchange the terminals of the diode. Then the bulb does not light. So when the rectifier diode is not connected correctly to the circuit, it does not allow light current to pass through it. Dear children, we are going to learn about electronic appliances today. What are these electronic appliances? The accessories used in electric circuits are known as electronic appliances. Under electronic appliances, first of all, we are going to learn about diodes. There are different types of diodes. Now we are going to learn about rectifier diode. Here, these diodes are very special because they allow current flow only along one direction. Diode has two terminals as positive terminal and the negative terminal. When current flows through the diode, it flows current from the positive terminal to the negative terminal. When we are connecting a diode to a circuit, always we have to connect the positive terminal of the diode to the positive terminal of the external cell. The next electronic appliance that we are going to learn is LED or light emitting diode. The speciality of the light emitting diode is it gives out light when a small current passing through it. As you all can see the light emitting diode has two terminals. The longer terminal is the positive terminal and the shorter terminal is the negative terminal. When we are connecting a light emitting diode or LED to a circuit, we have to connect the positive terminal of the LED to the positive terminal of the external cell. Then only light, then only current passes through. So, it is very clear that diode allows current flow only along one direction. Now, you are going to see an experiment to confirm the action of the LED. Dear 
This is an activity to confirm the action of LED. LED emits light when a small current passes through it. The longer terminal of the LED is the positive terminal and the shorter terminal is the negative terminal. Now the positive terminal of the LED has fixed to the positive terminal of the cell. Then the bulb lights up. But when we interchange terminals, bulb does not light up. So it is very clear that the current flows through the LED when only the terminals are fixed correctly. That means when the positive terminal of the LED is connected to the positive terminal of the external cell, then only the LED lights up due to current flow through it. So current flows through the LED from the positive terminal to the negative terminal. Now we are going to learn about another special feature of conductors. These conductors themselves have got a special feature that is when the conductors themselves make a barrier to current flow. The conductors themselves make a barrier. Barrier means an obstacle for the current flow. We identify this obstacle as resistance. So, if we want to control the current flow in a circuit, we can fix resistors to the circuit. Now we are going to learn about another feature of conductors. These conductors themselves makes a barrier for the current flow. We call this barrier as resistance. So, if we want to control the current flow through a circuit, we can fix resistors to the circuit. There are different types of resistors. There are perman permanent resistors, there are light sensitive resistors and also there are variable resistors. We can change the resi uh, resistance value of variable resistors. Now you can see an activity to confirm the action of resistors. This is a simple circuit with two dry cells, a bulb and a switch. Here you all can observe the brightness of the bulb. Now we are going to connect a resistor with 5 ohms value to this circuit. Here you can observe the brightness of the bulb decreases once after connecting the resistor. Again we are going to connect a resistor with 10 ohms value. Here you all can observe that the brightness has further decreased. When observing the brightness of the bulb without the resistor again it lights brightly. So it is very clear that resistors make obstacles in current flow. As you have observed earlier, once we increase the resistance of the circuit, the brightness of the bulb decreases. So it is confirmed that once the resistance increased, it decreases the current flow through the circuit. The SI unit, the standard international unit of measuring resistance is ohms. Now we are going to learn about 
a kind of light sensitive resistor. We call it as LDR or light dependent resistor. The speciality of the LDR is the resistance of LDR decreases when light falls on it and the resistance of LDR increases when it is covered or when it is darkened. So these LDRs are used in sensor circuits. A LDR has fixed to a simple circuit. When light falls on the LDR, the brightness of the bulb increases. That means it reduces resistance when light falls on LDR. When the LDR is covered, the brightness of the bulb decreases due to decrease of the current flow. Here the current flow has decreased as the resistance of the LDR increases. So once the LDR is kept in darkened places, its resistance increases and it allows very little current to pass through the LDR. 